Uh, how do you feel uh, about today's event, uh, you know, reuniting with some of your former uh, teammates and opponents as well as, you know, all the people that have come here to see you today? Well, I, I feel great to be here today, especially, you know, see so many people you knew in the past and uh, it's a play like Spud Jacobs, a guy I, I, I uh, know him for so many years when I was a young man, a young kid in Cuba when I... He played baseball in Cuba uh, many years there, and I remember watching him, and I used to say, if someday I wish I can play baseball like that man, because I remember him playing in Cuba as a good hitter, line dry hitter, a good second baseman, with a lot of speed, but one thing I liked about him was he also, he played baseball the way they're supposed to play baseball. And I used to enjoy watching him play, I, and like I said before, I used to say, I wish someday if I play professional baseball, I wish I can play baseball the same way school Jack could play. Wow, what a compliment. Well, okay. uh, that, was, that was true. And then uh, when I signed as a professional baseball, uh, I, I was in the reserve and the team in, in Havana, I watched it, and then I got traced the same thing he was uh, playing second base. So I had replaced him in second base on that team, so. And see him, well, I, I see him many, many times when I used to be here, so. Uh, we was introducing the Hall of Fame in, in Miami, Cuba Hall of Fame Miami. He was there, Mini was there. So it's nice to see those people, like Mini from my my province, and uh, and I used to be a kid to watch Mini play the same way. I was very a fan of Mini Minoso. And, and see so many people here, I know here in the area that is near Philadelphia when I play here, so it was, it was a great day for me and day great for everybody. Um, you had played a very long time in the Major Leagues. You had a very long career in the Major Leagues. What do you uh, attribute or give that you are able to play so long in the Major Leagues? Well, number one, I take care of myself. It's, it's the more important thing to play that long. And thank God I never was injured. So I never was injured play all those years I play. So, and I, one thing I, I can say, the time I put, you know, when I play, I only say I did baseball. My mind was only in baseball. I could play, I put my, myself in good shape to play every year and play so many games I play. So that's why I think and I thank God every day to let me, uh, give me that chance to play in big, the, the big league the way, uh, the long, I mean, you know, all those years I play. Yes. And uh, it's all the same because I take care of myself. Um, now, growing up in Cuba, who were some of the players that you grew up watching? You talked about Spook, you talked about many, that the Americans really never had a chance to see, that you were like, you know, ex excellent players that the Americans never had a chance to see. Well, uh, uh, so many great players play there in, in those years, you know. Uh, one guy I used to love to watch play was, uh, they call it Dandridge, Joe Dandridge, third baseman, played for, uh, 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 and the Negro League, played for the I Cuban am. Giants. Yes. The uh, Cuban, yeah, the Cuban Giants, yes. I think, played, or New York Giants, right. he played. This guy, I really enjoy play, watching him play, play third base. He never missing one ball, a good third baseman, good hand. He never have a chance to play in the big league. I think he played only one year he in the minor league. He played triple A with the Giants for four years, was MVP, hit 350, they never called him up. Uh-huh, uh -huh. he him never had a and chance to old, play. He was older. Oh, older, yeah, but because he played so many years in, in the Negro League. Yes. And nobody, I think they say he was... Before Jackie Lawrence yeah. is the one that people were thinking to play yes. in Philly before yes. Jackie, yeah. Uh, does the name uh, Silvio Garcia mean anything to you? Well, Silvio was a great player. I mean, uh, uh, Silvio, they, 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 they told but Silvio was the first Negro yeah. he can play in the Philly. But in that time, uh, he was Cuban. Uh, he understand the way uh, the American people do. So they played to bring him to play in the Philly before Jackie Lawrence. Uh, I had a chance to, Sibu was my coach in my early year in Cuba, and, and I learned a lot of baseball. He told me 
so many different things he told me to play. To play the game, to play the game right, play hard, right. and give everything, enjoy it. Because he used to say baseball is a kick game. So you have to enjoy to play every day. You enjoy play the game. Right. Um, also, another legendary figure in Cuban baseball is Martin Diego. Did you have any experience either seeing him play or when he was managing? No, I never have a chance to see Martin Diego play. I heard so many things from Martin Diego how great player he was. I, I think that my my second year in professional baseball, I have the opportunity to meet Martin Diego. I met it in the Ruben Amado father's home because he was like a very good friend to me, Ruben Amado Junior, I mean senior. And I, I have a chance to play with uh, meet uh, Martin Diego, but I never saw him play when he was now, playing. Now, when you came to the United States to play, uh, did you face any, you know, besides obviously having to make the majors and play good baseball, did you have any challenges in the minor leagues playing, being a man of color? in the 50s playing in the minor leagues, did you encounter any difficulties when in your travels when you were playing? Well, my first year, yeah. I think my first year when I signed, uh, uh, that was very difficult for me because they sent me to play in Texas, Texas City, yeah. and then we moved from Texas City to Sweeper, Louisiana, Thibodeau, I'm sorry, we moved uh, to Thibodeau, Louisiana, and, and I was the first black guy play in that league and, and that was in 1954 right and and uh, I, I found difficult time but you know I knew I came to this country to play baseball so I don't care number one I don't speak English I don't understand English so my only way this was in the field is play baseball enjoy myself have a good time now What's your involvement with baseball now? Do you still watch it? Do you, do you, do you, co do you coach or did you coach after you were done playing? Like what, what, you know, where are you with baseball right now? Well, I, I put 50 years, 54 years in professional baseball. I played 19 years in the big league. I coached for 31 years and, and uh, last six years. Four, five years. Yes. I retire. I don't watch baseball. I don't listen to baseball. Okay. I don't do anything. I most of the time what I do, uh, I get on the morning. I turn ESPN yeah. and I see who wins. And and most of the time, I what I do, well, see what the field do. Yeah. You know, if the field have a win or lose or so. Besides that, I don't interest much baseball. You know, when when I my last year as a coach, is a, I said, well, when I leave baseball, I don't want no more ball baseball. I don't want to put my mind and think baseball. I want to stay home, yeah. spend time with my family, travel, and enjoy myself and forget about everything. So, so the only thing I do that I watch ESPN and, and look at what the field is doing. You gave so much of your life to baseball. You know, I mean, I, it's understandable that take it. You know, to take a step. Uh, you know, to take a step away. But, but this will away. happen. You know, when you leave baseball, you don't want to be in bar anymore because, like, you know, you want to occupy yourself for your family yeah. and do some so many different things. You never have a chance to do when when you was in baseball. You know, like before, I cannot travel. I right. cannot go uh, cruise and go here, go there because. I was in bar in baseball, but now uh, I enjoy being part with my family and my wife and my family enjoy myself and, and, and let them enjoy it too because they, they spent 50 some years, you know, I was away from home and everything.